Okay, so I'm here with Phil McKenzie, right? And we're at Phil McKenzie. All right, we're at the Influencer Conference 2010. We're wrapping up. It's been two days of glorious discussions on influencers, on the influencer culture, branding. Phil, can you tell us what you do, who you are, and why this conference? Okay, great. I can do all that. Um, <laughs> Phil McKenzie, and I'm a managing, managing partner from Free DMC. Um, Free is a media agency. We do experiential events. We do marketing strategy implementation. We do digital content. Um, we publish Free Magazine, which is a men's um, lifestyle magazine. Um, and basically the genesis for the idea around um, Influencer Conference was to start to create metrics and scalable um, issuing around what it truly means to influencer. What we found through our work and through relationships is that brands who want to access influencers typically don't really know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. And those who feel that they're influencers or deal in influencer marketing, they in turn don't know what they're talking about. So it's two sides who want to connect but don't know how to connect and mm. within that lack of information within that divide of where people don't really understand influencer culture that's where we decided to segue ourselves into um, we, we define influencer culture very definitively mm. it's it's the the nexus or the the locus to kind of go into old geometry terms of where um, philanthropists artists entrepreneurs and technology combined. So where you have that nexus of people interacting mm -hmm. is what we term influencer culture. And if you're going to be a brand and you want to create movement, you have to get these people going in one direction. Mm -hmm. um, so it's part of our 180 degree marketing and, and a bunch of different stuff. So that's, so that's, when you reached out to this broad, I mean, you had, you had literally, and this is one thing everyone said who came in here and did an interview, the broadest panel, but very focused in what you have to say with about influencers. How did you manage to get so many people, so many yeah. talented influencers on one, you know, ticket? <laughs> well, I think for us, um, it started from a very genuine place in that we, we wanted to honestly have this conversation and rather than dealing strictly from a um, marketing perspective mm -hmm. or a brand perspective, it was really like, let's tackle these, these four pylons. Like I said, we, we believe in technology, entrepreneurship, the arts, and philanthropy. So it was our goal to kind of go out and pull people from each of those areas mm -hmm. and bring them together to, to talk about those commonalities, talk about that overlap. So in, in that sense, it was, it was fairly easy to kind of pull the people together because these were people that were either in our internal networks or they were one or two people removed. So that's, that's pretty much our strength as an agency. When you look at Free DMC, the, one of our strongest suits out of, when you, when you strip away kind of just the attention to detail and the general creativity that I think are obviously high, it's our ability to be able to curate and aggregate programming. And, and Free DMC is, I think, uniquely positioned um, more so than any of our peers to be able to create a program like Influencer because we can reach such a wide variety of people in disparate areas. So we're, so it's kind of like a beautiful mind where yeah. someone's not really seeing the connections, mm -hmm. we see those connections. Right. So when someone's kind of going in this, this stutter step path of something that's already been done, we're already kind of putting different things together and making it all happen. So we did that with the magazine, we did that with our events, and, and Influencer 10 is just another example of the type of programming that Free DMC is proficient at. Wow, that's incredible. So in looking at, I mean, you're saying that the brands don't get influencers, they, they don't. The agencies are also struggling to understand it. Um, does that, do you see then in your experience in working with these, these entities, are you seeing hope for any kind of consensus on influencer culture in the near future? Or is this just well, we I, I think it's about being bold. Mm -hmm. If you can find the right partners, like we, we were lucky in, in our positioning that we have incredible partners, Heineken, New York Times, um, Nicole Miller, L'Oreal, I mean, Yana Water, Livestream, Sir Fresh. Like we had people who understood where we're coming from, and that's important. And so I'm very hopeful because there's no choice to this. Influencers have been around from time immemorial, and they will always be around. It's just a matter of are you going to catch them at the top part of the rise, or are you going to get them 
when everybody else has it. And the value is, rather than being up here, mm -hmm. the value is kind of being on that ascent. And what we want to do is get brands and, and marketers to see that this is where you're going to find that value. Okay. So in that respect, yeah, I'm, I'm very hopeful because this this is life, you know. Right. Trying to deny influencer cultures, trying to deny air and, and, and water mm -hmm. and basic necessities. So mm -hmm. in, in that respect, I'm not worried at all. It's just um, a matter of finding the right partners that truly get it. Mm -hmm. And um, I just think a lot of brands, they're afraid of being bold. It's, it's safe to go to a couple of A or B list celebrities, mm -hmm. put up a step and repeat, and take some pictures. That's right. easy. No one's going to lose their job mm -hmm. for doing that. So if you're selling product X mm -hmm. and something goes wrong, hey boss, I got pictures of Brad Pitt and Us <laughs> Weekly, like, what do you want from me? And right. no one can argue that. But right. when you want to take steps forward, you have to think out of the box mm -hmm. and you have to be bold. And the boldness is in selling that person that your boss might not have heard of right. and having the conviction to stand behind it. Right. And if you don't know who that person is, then you bring on free DMC because we know who that person is. Right. That's, I live this every day. Wow. And there's a ton of confidence in knowing that no one can do what I can do. Right. You know, right. And, and that goes for our team. You know, it's it's unique in that respect. That's actually what you just said is is one of the things that's been said again and again from the influencers you had on the panel when we asked them well, what makes you influential and they said I live this. I live it. So it definitely comes through. In regards to putting on a conference though, which is it presents its own challenges. I mean I know you have the you know, the, the agent agency side of what you do and that's fantastic and you clearly are, are experts at what you do. But putting on this conference had to present some challenges. Mm -hmm. Brand branding a new event, it's in New York, you're getting the biggest names in tech media fashion. What were what were some of the challenges? How did you overcome them? Um, really the logistics. Like mm -hmm. it was a huge operational problem and and or a huge operational challenge. Mm -hmm. And and my background is in analytics and finance and all that kind of stuff, so it was kind of to employ that side of the brain now and, and just really, just about structure. I, I think everything can be distilled down to a, a function of operations. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a strong enough team, mm -hmm. you have a good plan in place and you start to enact your plan, mm -hmm. the rest of it will come into play. So the fact that we've never done a conference before mm -hmm didn't prohibit us from actually doing a conference. It was just a matter of figuring out what are the necessary, what are the necessary steps from point A to point Z. You know, so when you start planning this six, seven months out, getting to culminating on October 1st, and I'm not discovering this, um, what are the things I need to do in month one, month two, month three, month four, and just working that plan. So okay. it was a challenge and it was a lot of moving parts, but mm -hmm. the moving parts were not prohibitive toward doing the event. Okay. Who are some of the people on your team that, that kind of brought this together? Um, myself, obviously. Um, Todd Triplett, who's my mm -hmm. um, partner. He's our creative director. Um, Yves Louis Jacques, our brand strategist. Um, Keith Gill. Red Allen, um, they're kind of the, the core group of guys that that we work with. Um, we run, of course, World Management Group to help us as well. Um, so it's been a strong team effort, but it's um, a team effort with definitive goals. You know, so you can have a strong team if you don't have the goals, it's not going to work. And we were able to marry those, those focus, two things. Focus, yeah. as they say. Focus. <laughs> well, people enjoyed this this conference a lot, and you, you awesome. brought in the live stream, which was a huge hit. I mean, people online were just loving. They, I actually saw tweets today that were to the effect that we wish we were there. Mm -hmm. So they appreciated that. Good. Um, what's what's next for Influencer 10? Um, Is there an Influencer 11? Yeah. Um, cool. You know, 2011 cool. starts getting planned tomorrow. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, we don't waste any time. <laughs> Good. Um, Fierce. So we'll be, our, our goal mm -hmm. is to expand um, the brand, expand mm -hmm. the concept internationally, mm -hmm. domestically, and internationally. So we have a few cities on the table right now that we're, we're looking at. Um, LA, wow. um, Amsterdam, Berlin, nice. um, perhaps London. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I would love to do something in Latin America, something mm -hmm. in Asia, because mm -hmm. I think there's such burgeoning right. um, 
well, not even burgeoning. That's unfair to them. I think they're there, mm -hmm. but they're the language and the geography kind of Barrier. makes it daunting um, for us to be to know what's going on. Right. But when you reference things like live stream, there are people watching in Dubai, there are people mm -hmm. watching in Switzerland, there are people right. watching in Germany, they're in London, mm -hmm. and there's a there's a thirst for someone to come along and, and organize this. I right. feel like there's these different tribes of influencers all around the world, mm -hmm. but there's no one specifically talking about the culture in the same way. So they might be talking about technology or fashion or social media, but no one's talking about how these things all fit together. Right. And we want to be the ones to, to do that. So that's the goal for 2011, to take the brand, take the conference and move it um, domestically and internationally, just make it bigger. Awesome. Yeah. We look forward to that. Thank definitely, you. definitely. Congratulations on a successful conference. And I mean, everybody loved it. It's, it, we, it. One thing we kept hearing, everyone, even the panelists who are experts at what they do, they all said they learned a lot. So Good. thank you very much. It's and uh, just before we go, who influences you? Wow, who influences me? Um, I'm, I'm thinking there's tons of people, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's a tough question. Really my peers, you know, yeah. like um, the people I spend time with the most mm -hmm. are my boys, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm fortunate in the sense that I have a unique opportunity to work with people that are, are my friends and that are going to be in my life with or without business. Mm -hmm. um, so my boys are influencers um, to me, mm -hmm. um, just a ton of people just in the universe that I, I read and pick up what they're talking about, um, different writers, and musicians, it's yeah. just a, a, the influence comes from, comes from everywhere. From everywhere. Yeah, it comes from everywhere. Well, thank you for bringing it to us in, in the form of this conference. My thank pleasure. you for sharing it. Good luck. We look forward to 2011. Thank you very much. So do I. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.